Hello, this is Darren. I want to show you some techniques for using ChatGPT to create a slide deck. This could be something you could present. It could be something you turn into a PDF and share on social media. Could be anything. But uh, here's something I created the other day. Uh, 20 storytelling tips for leaders. This is something we love to do is, is teach storytelling, train others on it. You can kind of see the presentation here. And this was literally just created in minutes. And I like the content. I even like how it looks, too, for something that was done so quickly. And the purpose of this isn't necessarily that it's something that you publish immediately, that you present immediately, but it gives you a prototype, as we say in the design thinking world, that you can iterate from, you can change. You can change the title, you can change the text, a different image, anything like that. So here's how we did this, right? So first thing I did was I went into ChatGPT and I prompted it. You know, I'd like to create a slide deck with 20 tips for better storytelling for leaders. The audience is managers in various organizations. They'd use the stories with their teams to inspire, share the vision, connect, build empathy, share ideas, etc. Please create the slide deck with each slide having a title or headline and then bullet point tips. So here's a tip for ChatGPT prompts. You can see a general format. Whenever I I'm using ChatGPT, I let it know, hey, here's what I want to do. Here's what I'd like for you to deliver for me. And then I'll let them know who is it for. Hey, here's what this is for. It's for this kind of an audience, managers and organizations, and a little more about them. You know, So now it should understand a little bit more about what we're creating here, right? I let them know in detail then what to deliver. Hey, give me the slide deck with each slide having a title or headline and then bullet point tips. So that's what I like to do, get specific. I'll let it know what I'm working on, letting them know who it's for and what to create and specifically how to give it to me. And then you get this output right here. And I was reading through it and I'm like, hey, those, those are good tips. Those are pretty accurate for tips for storytelling, right? I, I asked for 20, you can ask for 10, you could ask for 50, I think it would provide it. So then the goal here is how do we turn this into this slide deck? You see this right here. How do we do that? Well, how do we do that with AI, right? I could do it the old way and manually copy and paste everything in, format everything, find images, do that. But there might be a better way to do that quickly now with AI. So the tool is slidesai.io, right? And it's just one of these uh, extensions for Google Slides. So you just search for this. So I would just Google this, slidesai.io, and then you'll be able to install this. So after you install it, you open up, uh, you know, your Google Slides uh, area, and there's this thing called extensions, and you'll find it in here, right? And then you'll be able to generate slides with this. So I could add on to this slide presentation with this, or I could create a new one. So let's create a new one. That's what I would like to do now. So I'm going to go over here. So the thing that I also learn about ChatGPT is you can always help it to give you exactly what you want. So I got this, but I would like more stories in there. What are examples of stories I could tell? Not just the tips like introduction, understand your audience, have a clear purpose, but what are the stories that I could tell? So here's how I approach this, was I gave it another prompt. I said, hey, Darren is a leader of a division of a company. He's gotta be on stage at a very important all hands meeting every quarter. He's gotta share with his division how things have been going, what are the highlights, the needs, the strategy, the vision. In the past, he's just done a PowerPoint presentation. The attendees have shared that the presentation is boring. They don't remember, fully understand what was presented. They want to leave inspired, but are not by the presentation of just facts, data, information, etc. A, le a fellow leader at the company suggested Darren share stories instead of just the information. So hey, ChatGPT, please create a slide deck with nine slides that would take this situation and help Darren turn his talk into stories. Share the tips through story examples. Each slide should have a headline, bullet point tips, and a story example. So now I'm getting more specific. I saw what it gave me. It gave me great tips, but I want story examples now. I need to help myself tell stories. What are the different kinds of stories I could tell? So here, now it gave me that. Where it Here's the introduction slide, but now we're getting into it. Okay, setting the stage. Here's a story example. You know, so it's still not quite perfect, but it's a lot better. It's getting to give me some ideas for the kinds of stories I can tell, and it's giving me my uh, my nine slide.
presentation that I was looking for, right? So PowerPoint, just a tool, just like any other tool, right? You can use it to help you tell stories or you could just share information, right? So that's what we're trying to get at here is how do we get those stories in there? So, okay, so here's how I might create a presentation uh, with ChatGPT and SlidesAI.il. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, oh, let's go back to here. I mean, I'm just gonna copy and paste, you know, everything it gave, it gave me here, right? I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Let's copy and paste this and just using my shortcut. So now I'm going to go into Google Slides, right? So even if you use PowerPoint, maybe you try Google Slides, right, for some of these tools. And I'm just going to click, hey, let's go with a blank presentation. And I'm just going to call this uh, AI Storytelling. And okay, so now I can go to Extensions and I can go to slidesai.il. So this is the key thing. You open up the new slide deck and hit extensions. And then you should see this after you've installed slidesai.il, right? And I'm just gonna hit generate slides. Let's do that. So it's gonna open this up for me. It's gonna set things up. And uh, what best describes myself? I'll throw, throw anything on here. I've heard about this, we'll say from a friend, get started. All right, so here you just paste it in now, right? I'm just gonna paste this in, all right? I've got a limit of 2,500 characters on my plan. It's got 3,946 characters, so you can upgrade, right? So that's what you might do. So, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this back here. We're not gonna do the uh, paid plan yet, but let's try to do, uh, let's see if we can get, get it down here. Five slides, all right, there we go. Now we're within Realm. And uh, number of slides, it looks like it's five. Yeah, so we'll do five slides here. Presentation type, you can choose. Hey, let's go conference style, right? Why not? Add a title and thank you slide. Nah, I don't need that. Here's the thing I like is add images, right? It will find some images and add them in there. So let's hit the create slides button now. So that's how it gets to work. You paste it in there. If you have the free extension like I do, you're limited to 2,500 characters. So one thing that you could do is on ChatGPT, you could say, hey, ChatGPT, just give me a headline and two bullet points for each slide. Then you might be able to get to uh, many more slides for your presentation and still not exceed that 2,500 character limit. So here we go, it's working, it's almost there. It's finding images. There's a kind of a connecting piece here called Magic Write, right? that allows you to find the images, put the images in. So I think that's another thing that you can do is after you've built the presentation, maybe you want to select different images for every slide. And then that magic right option, I believe would allow you to do that. So what we're doing here is kind of connecting some different AI tools together. And that's almost what happens now is all kinds of different AI tools are interacting with each other. We're going to chat GPT to provide the prompt that challenge that we're working on, get the text, and now we're using this other tool to give us the slide decks. Okay, I'm just gonna click understood here, and uh, let's see what we got. All right, here we go. It's got the presentation. It leads a blank title slide that we can add, but okay, here we go. There we go, so we're, we're getting through it, right? It's giving us a little something. And then what I like to do is you can change the uh, the theme on the slide to see what it might look like in different formats, All right? Beautiful, this one could be pretty cool. Let's take a look, right? So you can highlight it all and uh, let's try this one. Some of these might give you a different title page it looks like. This one I like. I like this one with these icons and I like the, the yellow highlighting here, right? So there we go. And you can determine yourself, hey, how do these images look? Does it look like it's a match? And then there might be some other tools that you can use to help you with this too, like this magic right. You know, I just popped that up under extensions and you can find some different images. It might recommend some images, some different images that you can use right? For addressing the needs? You know, I don't know. We'll see, right? But these are some choices. Just giving you a little bit of a, uh, 
a demo of this tool you know that you might use to enhance your presentations knowing that this might not finish the thing for you but hey using chat gpt to get ideas for the text and the approach and then using slidesai.io which is a google slides extension it might get you to a prototype that you can quickly edit change up or at least get ideas and how to make this more in your own voice in your own story right sometimes that's how we can get our better ideas is by seeing something and responding to it versus starting from scratch so that's the thing that i like about some of these tools is it gives us something to respond to and to iterate from